Okay, super warm outside, so uh, let's get this going. Yep, it's 107, even parked in the shade. This is as good a time as any to say hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel as I pursue getting my van ready to hit the road and get away from this heat. <sighs> it, it's gonna be a challenge. I can already see it. I've been doing all of the different things to try to get my bed ready and then also figuring out how I want to do my storage. But the actual van itself needs to be prepared and I'm gonna start with a good once over of cleaning. So I'm gonna do a little bit at a time and get my van cleaned and then also take my seat back out and then put down my carpet. And that'll get me one step closer to putting the things in the van. I've been going through some different kinds of things and as I'm doing each of these steps, I'm kind of showing these on separate videos. So if you have been following along, you've seen me get the new bed, kind of working on solutions for what I'm gonna do for the cover and also for those shelves. And I think that it's gonna work out pretty well, but the van itself, that's the question mark right now. So time to clean in the heat. I took the van on a trip with my dad to make sure that it was going to work out. So I'm gonna to have to take everything out of here. Um, I'm gonna go and do my laundry, of course. These things will be in here, but I need to recharge this. And I think the best way for me to clean the van is going to be to get some breeze going by opening up both doors. And, ugh. Okay, hope this helps just a little bit. I need to go over all of the walls with the Clorox wipes. I need to go over all of the trim, and then I'm going to go over the floor after I have everything cleaned out of here. So again, I don't see this being a super fast process because it is so hot, but might as well start somewhere. And I think somewhere is gonna start by taking this and actually putting it up front. Anything that's gonna stay in the van, I'm just gonna put in the front passenger seat for now. Okay, this is a good start. These things I know are gonna be in the van still in some capacity, so this is a good place to start with them. I have always found that it's easier to put it all in one spot and then go from there and then pull away from that spot. So this is something that has helped me many times in the van. So it's gonna help me again today. Normally I would take my shoes off in the van, but well, I'm gonna have to clean all the floor anyway, so it's fine. Okay, this is all my emergency gear, so it needs to stay too. So I'll put it up here for now. And um, I do wanna add a couple more things to my kit. So I'll do that before I hit the road also. And then I think this is the last piece of emergency equipment that I currently have in the van. So all that's good. Okay, now to the gross parts. All of this has just gotten so nasty with me being in and out of the van. So I'm just gonna get all the dust off and uh, make sure I don't have anything too much like craziness in here, you know? So this is gonna take me a while. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be tedious, but you know what? It's worth it to feel good in the space again. So even though it might take me a while, it's gonna be worth it. Okay, this side, already so much better than this side. Oh, the goal is to just get the main dust out of here and then I'll take the shop back to the floor and do it after I've taken the seat out. So that should work pretty well, but I got a lot more to go. So huh, this, is, this is gonna be rough. I will say this, it is coming together though. It is definitely coming together. This part also needs to be cleaned. Ugh, gross, really gross. Well, these are all nasty now, but I did get the both sides done. So now I'm gonna throw these in the trash and then probably bring out the shop back in a minute. Okay, let's do a little progress report. Yesterday, I got everything cleaned and wiped down in the van and I moved a bunch of stuff out of the back into the front so that I could kind of work in there just a little bit with that. And then after that, I did another project, which you'll see on an upcoming video. Really cool one where I actually did some vinyl inside the van just to make it look a little different. But then I woke up this morning and I couldn't breathe. My allergies were just going crazy. So. It's not been the greatest of starts to my day, but I'm gonna get a few things done today in the van 
just a couple. I may just take a couple small baby steps, but every single day, if you're doing something to improve the project as a whole, then you get closer to the overall goal being finished. So putting on regular shoes, going out and assessing what I can work on. Okay, parked in the shade to try to get it a little bit more manageable. And um, I also need to make sure that I get this done before I depart. If you're seeing this, don't worry, it's not out. <laughs> you're just seeing it after the fact. Ooh, it's bright out here, so I put some sunglasses on. Um, yeah, I have a whole series of things that I'm getting done before I hit the road to go to Colorado. And my tag is one of the later things on the list. So I'm trying to get the van itself finished and then I'm gonna go get the tag done and then, well, basically I'll be ready to depart. So inside I go and um, I need to unload this stuff, I think, to start with and also dig around in my toolkit and find the tools to take out the seat. I'll probably just move this up to the front seat until I get everything kind of organized because it is going to be staying in here. And this hat will be staying in here too, so I'll just put it on the front dash uh, because I will travel with this hat and my brown hat whenever I hit the road. I'm also going to travel with the scooter, but I do want to take it inside and really charge it up and just kind of free up some space until I figure out how exactly I want to store it in here. I think that the bike for this one though, I'm going to leave here because I'm going to get used to the scooter a little bit more on some scooter trails. So. I'm gonna leave the bike for dad so he can play with it while I'm gone. I really hate that I dread this so much because it's just, it's hot. Otherwise I would be so excited right now because I'm getting close, but the heat really knocks the fun out of it, but it's okay. I'm gonna get in here, start to work, and well, I'm gonna give myself 15 minutes at a time outside because it's just that kind of hot. So every 15 minutes, I'll just go inside, sit down, drink some water, cool off, and then repeat. This makes the process very slow, but it makes it manageable in the temperatures that it currently is. In fact, today here in Texas, as you can see, not super fun, but it is a little bit cooler than it has been. So that's why I'm out here during this time, as opposed to earlier in the day when it was like 103, 104, it just doesn't let up until like super late at night. And then it only gives up just a little bit. Like last night I came outside at midnight and it was still 98 degrees. So there's no good way to get this done except for the 15 minute method. Okay, into my handy dandy toolkit and I should only need a couple of things. So let's see, oh, those are my Allen wrenches. I need to make sure I don't lose those. Those go to my scooter. This is all the stuff that's in my emergency kit currently for my tools, at least. Um, and then I have, of course, another emergency kit that goes on the roof. Okay, looks like it's come down to the very bottom. I need this guy. I don't know if this is the right size, but I think it is. Best way to find out, just put it directly onto the thing I'm going to be taking out. Yep, sure enough, that's the right one. So this is ready for me to take the seat out but now I need to empty the seat. So what I'm probably gonna do is just take the seat itself out and then put it in the back temporarily. And then I'll maneuver kind of into the house in just a little bit with all of the bulky items. That way I can just kind of do a one by one or I may just cruise on up so I can open the door and just walk directly in and have a shorter path. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll just get it where I can take it out and then I'll move the van over into the hot section of the yard. In other words, the unshaded area. And then I'll take everything out and then I'll move it back over here to do the work. Okay, now I just take everything off again. Okay, this is gonna take a minute. Okay, moving to the back and I tightened these on nice so uh it's been a little struggle but that's okay they're coming off really easily now okay so now i need to fold the seat down so there's a little lever on the side that allows me to fold it forward and then there's another lever somewhere i can't remember where there it is and then that'll fold it forward the rest of the way so now that it's flat I can actually put it in the back. Now this is kind of the weird part though. There's a screw in the back that it has to lift off of. And so I can lift it and then tilt it backwards. And it's nasty under here. So definitely gonna have to shop back. Like definitely gonna have to shop back everything. 
So now that that's off, I can put the screws back into the hole so I don't have a through hole to the ground. And I'll just hand tighten these first, putting them in place. Okay. And this one. And then this one that has the screw top on it has just an open one that goes on. Okay, now I'll tighten all these down and I'll be one step closer. And you might be thinking, oh gosh, that's ugly looking. Yeah, it is. That's why I did a carpet in the first place and why I'll be going back in with another carpet. So I still have the carpets that were in the van previous and they're already pre-cut to the correct shape to fit in this spot. And then I have a larger one, which I'm going to use in the back that matches. Okay, they're all tightened. And now I'm gonna go inside for my little break. It's been a little bit under 15 minutes, but again, just trying to stay cool. So as soon as I take my little break and then come back outside, I will move the van and take this stuff in. It literally feels like as soon as I start on a project, it's time to go in and take that break. But this is the safest way to do it. So I'd rather be safe rather than sorry, especially considering I'm here by myself. Okay, I went ahead and brought the shop vac out and I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then I'll move the van, unload it, and then I'll pull back in facing that direction so I can do the other side. Smarter, not harder. Okay, in theory. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, time to unload the van. I'm just gonna take everything out of the side door and take it straight in the house. Okay, I just need to grab the scooter and the helmets. And uh, again, this is just gonna go back in the front seat. So, wow, this is looking crazy in here right now, but it's getting better and I have a lot of vacuuming to do. Okay, back to moving the van. It's only 101 outside, but it's 106 in the van. Good times. Oh, just to follow up on the doors, we're back to being stuck again. So this again is why I've been kind of saying what I've been saying about the van. It was definitely a wise move to make this pivot toward changing the layout because I don't know how many times I've come out to the van, tried to open the door and had done that. So since when I did my test run with the van, I was able to use it here and there, but not consistently. It really made me decide that this was in fact the right answer. So with that said, I'm gonna do some more vacuuming See if I can't get closer and then go take a break and then come back out here and uh, either finish the vacuuming, depending on how long this takes, or start to put down some carpet. In the meantime, I have some trash that I'm going to collect also. I've got some stuff that I've been putting up here. So I'm just going to start a little trash bag and I'll take it out later. Okay, now that I'm getting some stuff done, I'll start taking my shoes off so I don't track back in dirt. And then I'll climb in, grab this extra trash down here and then see if this is actually something that needs to be vacuumed or not. Some of this is just discolored from things rubbing up against it, like this. That won't come clean unless I just scrub it. So I'm gonna try to scrub it with some of these just to see if it'll come up a little bit more, but it's like in there, in there. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done though first. Oh yeah, some of this should be vacuumed still. So I'll have to bring the vacuum a little bit closer to this area probably. Oh, <sighs> okay. We've surpassed our 15 minute mark and definitely being inside the van, you can see there is a huge difference in how hot it is. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna unplug this. I'm gonna take it up to the porch and uh, we're gonna go in for our little break again. But um, I'm ready for carpet after that. So whenever I come back out, I'll bring out the little front carpet piece that's already pre-cut and uh, the back carpet is already in here, so I'll be able to start laying that down. And then I can see from there what I need to do next, which is gonna be a big, huge, like point in the van where I figure out where the shelves are gonna go, where the fridge is gonna go. I know where the bed is gonna go, but I'll probably bring the bed out to like kind of visualize the space. Um, so all of those things need to be done. And uh, well, Getting closer though. Every step is a step closer, but right now this step is about to take me inside because I am dying right now. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes of me cooling off and I'm taking out the carpet that I had previous in the van and I'm gonna see how this is gonna work. It's still super hot. So I'm gonna make this a 15 minute time job. 
starting with the front seat. I'm not sure which one of these was from the front. To be honest, I have several different pieces. So I think this one, okay, so this is the one that would run down by my shelf. So this one can go in the back for now. This one was a little piece that was at the back. So this one is the one I'm looking for. Okay, so this has a couple notches cut in it, kind of somewhere in here that would make it sit. Haha, <laughs> here they are. So these go toward the back of the van. Okay, so that notch just allows it to kind of go up like this and this kind of pops out, but I have something that fits in there, so that's fine. And then this one just kind of notches so that it'll sit a little bit flatter right there. Now, I'm going to move the fridge up here and then I'll roll out the big carpet and I'll see how much I have left in the back. Okay, so for this one, I have to get through the plastic first. There should be a place that it can kind of pull up. Not sure though. I may have to go grab some scissors, but I'm gonna try to do this without scissors. There we go. Okay. Ugh. 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 Okay. Wow. So I'll add these things to the trash bag. This is again, just a Walmart rug that I picked up. It is going to be one that's 48 inches by 64 inches. So uh, in theory, it's going to go from wheel well to wheel well and 64 inches, which should get me almost all the way to the back. We'll scoot this in and over and then I'll probably have to go over here to the other door to get it kind of the rest of the way rolled out. Okay, I really am gonna have to open the back doors to pull this down because I can't do that while also standing on it. So I'm gonna have to take my shoes off, walk through, open it from inside, cross my fingers that it works. <sighs> and I hope this will be the last time I have to do this. I guess we'll see though, but I think it will be. Okay, this is not gonna be quite long enough, so I probably will use at least one of the other rugs. I can probably pull it up just a little bit. I might even be able to shift it a little bit more this way um, because I'm probably gonna have a shelf or something sitting like right there. So maybe I give myself another rug and then I see if I can make up the difference a little. The longer rugs were too wide and I didn't wanna get something that was gonna get so wide that I'd have to cut it because ultimately it would end up fraying everywhere if I had to cut long cuts. Short slits are okay, long cuts are problematic. So let's see if we can engineer this to work. Now, the interesting thing is we need to shake this out really good and then maybe I could lay it long ways like this. I don't know, I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, obviously this is too big but if I could even it out on like one side and then maybe tuck the other side, it would be fine. My bed's gonna fit back here. So this is gonna be covered portions of it at least. So maybe I can just kind of overlap this rug so you don't see the edge. Like I think this will work. Cause again, I'm not gonna be opening the doors so it won't migrate anymore, but this will give me a nice even surface for the bed in comparison to the ruts that are in here and this is going to take more of the weight of the bed so having that little extra bit probably won't hurt it at all so all in all it's coming together okay this is going to go in here because i always keep one of these in here by the door so i need to cut the tags but this is where i keep my shoes whenever i am not wearing them in the space okay so tags are off carpets in this is going to have something there everything looks okay this is a good starting place for me to start figuring out the organization. Now I have a couple options. I can bring out a cabinet and kind of start looking at the spacing, or I can start bringing out the bed and looking at its spacing first, which I think realistically would be the smarter thing. I currently have my bed kind of in a predicament. I'm not finished with it yet, but I'm working on it. So um, it's gonna be kind of a hot mess if I bring it out right now. But um, I think it's a necessary evil for me to figure out the placement. So maybe I'll bring out the cabinet and the bed to see how it can fit together. Excuse me, sir. Hi, this is Leo. If you haven't seen him on my tiny channel, he's the only one who I can really like pet. And uh, he wants in the van because he sees the carpet, but um, 
I'm trying to tell him it's too hot in the van, sir. You will die if you get in here because I am almost dying and I'm in here. I will say this though, we've lost a couple degrees of temperature. It's now 104 inside the van because I have all the doors open. <laughs> and I'm getting a little bit of a breeze, even though it's a warm breeze, but it's a breeze. So I'm gonna take the good and the positive and just kind of go with it. Ooh, in the case, it looks huge in this space, but it's gonna be okay because this is gonna work. This is gonna work. Now to do this though, I do have to close the back doors. Oh no. But I need to be able to see how it actually fits. So closing up some airflow and this again, still working on it. At least I can leave one door open. Shoes off, in we go. And out of this case, this comes. Okay, so in theory, this is couch mode. Okay, that's gonna look nice, but this is the aisle I'm working with on this. My main reason for wanting couch mode is look at all this extra space I have. This is nice. I could have people here. I could have activity space. I could sit on the floor. This is, this is good. This is the part I like about this. But it also is going to pose some challenges because couch mode is not how I will sleep. I will sleep in bed mode and bed mode has to extend. And that's where I need to go get this shelf so I can see where exactly the shelf is going to fit. <sighs> this is the difficult stuff. Well, this and finishing this cover, which, oh, oh, that's a whole nother can of worms. Yeah, definitely you'll have to check out that video and see what I'm talking about. I am having a struggle bus, but that's okay. I will get it together and uh, I will prevail. But until then, I have to figure out how all this other stuff is going to fit in here. And, uh, well, I'm a little concerned because after I fold this out, I think it's going to take up quite a bit of room. The positive is if I do decide to install my shelf again, guess what? It will fit great right here because there's enough room for it. So that part's awesome. But as you know, I've said before, I don't intend on putting my shelf back in until the van is fixed because I have to mount it with brackets and I have to actually put it in and it's very difficult to actually put it in because it's heavy and it's awkward and taking it out took me a while because I did it by myself. And so putting it back in is going to also be a big, huge question mark. So. I'm trying to avoid that question mark at this time by just using some plastic shelves. So I'm about to go inside and get the biggest one and see if this will work. And if it doesn't, I have to figure out how to pivot. I will say this though, the bed takes up a lot more room, but it's mostly because I can't use this wheel well space because typically my bed goes over the wheel well and it's 27 inches. Well, this one is 30 inches, but it looks much larger simply because of the wheel well placement. So there's that. Okay, so in theory, I like the way that this feels. This is nice, but the bed has to fold out. This is a good size storage for what I need. But will it work with the bed folded out? Okay, yes and no. So if I don't fold the bed out completely, it definitely fits. But there is a little problem. Notice there's a whole panel that's not folded out. So there's a couple things I could look into with this. Do I mind sleeping on a shorter bed for a while? Um, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to feel. Um, can I move the shelf? Maybe. Um, is that something that I want to deal with if I do? Like, where would I put it? The only place I could see myself putting it is up against the door, over here, or over here. And then, is that going to be comfortable where I can still maneuver through those doors if I need to? Because my main goal, of course, is to keep entry and exit points to make it easier for me. So I don't foresee me wanting to put it on this side, but I'm going to try it on this side so I don't have to move the whole bed and everything because again, this cover is not right yet. It's huge. It needs to be sized down. So I'm going to try something, but that means I'm going to have to close off even more of my air circulation for just a minute. Oh, why do I do this to myself?
Okay, this would work. This would indeed work. So, I would have just a tiny bit of space. But then, that brings me to my next issue, which is where do I put my fridge? Huh, this mattress is proving to be something interesting just because it's not off the ground, which is why I originally had a bed platform so all this could fit under my bed. So, I'm gonna have to use some more creative thinking. Now, when it's upright, it's fine, it's good, it's great, it's wonderful. This still leaves me spaces to put things, to navigate, and most of the time I will have it in couch mode, which will be fine. So, in theory, I could probably make this work. I might even be able to make it work in that upright mode. I don't know, I'm just gonna probably end up moving around a whole bunch of times to figure this out. But <sighs> for now, I have a lot to think about. Interestingly enough, I actually feel pretty comfortable with that one piece up because it's so wide, I can maneuver my body in a variety of different ways. So, I may end up putting that at the end behind the seat and then just kind of feeling it out as I go. The positive is I now know this will work. So now I can figure out what needs to go in the drawers, what I'm taking, what I'm not taking. Again, I have no underbed storage, so I'm gonna really pare down the items. And ultimately, I'm gonna use my roof box for some things, but I'm gonna take a limited amount of those things as well. And um, I think I might just take on this trip to Colorado and use it as like a will this work moment. And if it does work, cool. And if it doesn't, I'll circle back to Texas and change some things. But yeah, I think, I think this is a good place to start. Now I just need to work on the shelves, work on the bed, figure out some things, load the roof box, plan my trip, get my inspection and uh, my tag, and well, then I'll be ready. That sounds like a lot. But remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. And sometimes that good time, well, it takes a little bit of work. Till next time, guys, I'm gonna sweat it out for a little bit longer and then I'll move on to something else. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Bye.